What? That's good, everybody. Yeah, it's your boy. O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. With another episode of the Sir Liberty Jump. Guys, the other day I was just chilling on Facebook. I was reading Bible scriptures there. Y'all know I'm a Christian. I love the Lord, right? Amen, hallelujah, and in Shaza Bay. And then I get a notification sound. Give me a notification sound, Peter. And I'm looking at this like, what the hell? And it's a notification on Instagram. Now stop the show. You niggas know I don't really use the Instagram all like that because I'm ugly. I don't post no pictures over there. And I don't want to be talking to no IG thoughts. But, you know, a good brother, one of our good brothers over here, wanted me to play a particular video and respond to it, right? And I want to go ahead and give the brother a shout out because I recorded this video like a lot of times. My sound was messing up. But the good brother's name is Tobias Q. Brown. Go over there and follow him, man, at, at Tobias Q. Brown. I saw our brother over there. Support the brother on this uh, Instagram hustle. And he actually sent me this message, right? We're going to play the message right now, family. And then we're going to get into the video. Play that message. Oh, Shay. Love the show, man. Listen. Um, this is very apropos of stuff you talk about. Hope you put it on the show. Talk about it. And until then, I keep listening. Peace, man. Yep. All right. Give him a round of applause, right? Appreciate the brother for looking out for your boy. But this video that the brother was talking about is this particular video called Being Faithful to a Man with a Big D, but he can cheat once a month, or have a man with the littlest D, but he's 100% loyal. Now, out of this public interview, now this brother, Brother Robbie World, this is, this, this is a big nigga. He, he got titties all in his all in his coronavirus mask. But anyways, um, the, the brother was doing this thing on the video, right? He's doing these little interviews. Only one of them is not black, okay? And shout out to Brother Robbie World. But I want to play the video to see what do chicks really want. Are they looking really looking for loyal guys? Or are they looking for the, the slog? Let's go ahead and play that clip. Would you rather have the best day in your life, but he cheats on you once a month, or... The littlest D you ever had in your life. He say, hey. But he's 100% loyal. Why you put the... That's not gonna work out. You gotta choose one. I gotta choose one? Big D, little D. The cheater. The cheater. I'm sorry. I gotta cheat too then. Would you rather have the best D in your life? But he cheats on you once a month, or the smallest D you ever had in your life, but he's 100% loyal. The biggest, the cheater. <laughs> because if it's small, I'm not going to like enjoy myself. I'm not going to be with you. Would you rather have the best D in your entire life, but he cheats on you once a month, or... The smallest D you ever had, but he's very loyal, 100%. The smallest D I ever had, but he's very loyal, 100%. God bless you. Now, would you rather have the best D in your life, mm -hmm. but they cheat on you once a month, or the smallest D you ever had, but they loyal? Damn, that's hard. But they loyal? The best D once a month because then I could be loyal and then... But you being loyal to somebody that's unloyal. Oh, you didn't say that he was unloyal. Yeah, he cheats on you once a month. Say that then. You I said, said the that. best D once a month. No, the best D and he cheats once a month. My bad. Oh. I just have to deal with the cheating because honestly, if... <laughs> if I get... What was a small D? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to cheat too. So it's either... <laughs> Hey, <laughs> uh, these ain't loyal. Okay, what if he cheats on you every day? No, we're gonna have to go with Mr. Smiles. Oh, don't point at me. No, yeah. point at you heard what they had to say, okay? 
Now, here, here's the issue here, brothers. There was mostly black women in this, and there was one non-black lady, which she was the first interviewee. Only one of the sisters said that they want a man to be loyal. But everybody else said, under these dire circumstances, they're going with that Johnson. They're not going to be dealing with y'all with, 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 with that, that, that Johnson that's so small, fleas use it for diving board, right? When they ain't going to deal with y'all. Now, this is my issue with this. Now, I know this is like, you know, basically, a, you know, a very extreme situation is unlikely. But when I talk to women, and most of you brothers talk to women, and they and they talk about what they want. Dave Music, I want a man that is faithful. He loves God. He wants to be a husband. He's a provider. Um, he takes care of me. You know, he's very listening and passionate to me. See, these are these are things they want, all right? But 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 see. Let's, let's dial it back. All of those things are under the condition that he have some meat. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Because if he don't have the meat that slung that D, it's a no-go. They would rather be with the guy that cheats that got some good D than the guy that's faithful to him and got a little D. And I'm going to say it even further, right? They would rather be with a guy that they just want to be what they like that they're attracted to rather than the guy that work hard that they're not as attracted to, especially in the black community, okay? And see, it just goes to show you that when you ask a question like this, you really see where their real priorities are at. And it shows in the black community, right? This is what they're looking for a lot of times. They're looking for the guy with the meat, the guy with the looks. You know, the guy with, you know, the clout. And not really looking for the brother out there that's, you know, doing the right thing. And see, that's, it's BS, you know, because nobody wants to look bad. They can't just be honest and say, you know what, I want a nigga that sell dope. They can't say that. I want a bad boy. They can't really say that because it'll make them look bad. You know what I'm saying? They can't say that. Although they need to come out and just say that, they can't say that. So they have to sandal it up and weave it up and then try to hide behind it. But once you get and tear down those layers in between that, those, you know, that BS, you then find out that, oh, he got, he got to have certain, you know, certain meat. You don't care about those other things, right? You don't care about loyalty, honesty. You don't care about that. You care about sex. Then what kills me is when they choose these sort of dudes, and obviously they'll let you cheat if they think that, you know, you got some good meat. The thing about it is this, when they choose these sort of dudes, then they want to get mad at everybody. Summer Walker, anybody? Summer Walker in the building? See, they want to get mad. But this is what you choose and you chose the meat over the loyalty. You chose the looks over the loyalty. So I know somebody mad, but it's definitely not my fault. Facts. Well, anyways, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell. Check out the first comment pinned to the top. Check out the um, the Black Men Are Perfect t-shirts. And guys, you know, a, a, lot, um, a lot of people are in my comment section, man, every day. I, I, look, look, shut up. Go somewhere. Leave. Uh. And as you know, the buffoonery always remains at an all-time high. I'm out.